Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. It happens to be Tuesday, which means, oh yes, Obama is in President Obama's, um, let's say, is recovering from the fallout from, yes, whatever happened on Monday on Obamacare. I know, it's a continuing saga on health care, isn't it? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, I mean they're basically the Democrats are on the map on a complete attack over Obamacare. How this there, there's no insurrection. It shows that if anything, it showed that the Republicans are now moving to the sides of the Democrats on Obamacare because they're voting to fix the problems that they said we always knew there were going to be problems that they had to be fixed, but we knew the Republicans would stand against us. Now the Republicans are joining with leading Democrats to fix the problems with the system. So, which is your BS, and they all say so. And she, she, she's going to try to, she's thinking about going to try to fight. Of course she is. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's but she by the angle it. of it. As soon as you point it out. As you out, mention it. She only goes under the tripod if she thinks no one pay attention. Yeah. And Carrie says, two century U.S. Latin American policy over. I mean, or that M, that M. Uh, and, and, and guy is a fruitcake. I mean, he basically says the Monroe Doctrine, which is the United States will keep foreign powers out of South America and, and Central America, is now at an end. That he said, if you want to, if you're, you know, Russia and you want to take over, say, a, a democratic country like uh, Brazil, well, you're welcome to come in and seize the country now. We're not going to stop you. Hmm. And guess what happened in, in the Senate? What? Herbie Daddy said, they, they said, this guy's a fruitcake. I mean, they didn't exactly say the word fruitcake. They they got other terms for carry, and these are Democrats talking about him. Ah, and yet another study links soda to yet another health problem. Oh, yeah. That basically, um, Obama is on a rampage, I mean, uh, uh, about anything that basically people enjoy. What was it he went after? This? Oh, what was it his wife likes? His wife has been saying that Latin food is good for you. They just oh, declared no. Latin food is bad for you today. Which is, well, I thought that was funny considering last night at a, at a private thing he would ask the question, is your wife going to run for the presidency uh, um, in 216? And he said, well, she has no political aspirations, but I can guarantee you if she was to run, she could get, win easily over any Republican. That's saying, what? That's saying, okay, he is basically knows he's in trouble, and he was going to stay, use the fact that they could, the only way to remove from office, there's no power on earth that can remove a president from office. The election process is just to name another president, but it doesn't mean the other one has to leave. Only an impeachment could, but now since even the Democrats are saying the impeachment word, He's figured out a way, well, we'll have Michelle run, and you can still keep me as president. Because she hasn't done anything to piss people off except all the food industry and all the everything you think oh, of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's taken a page from Boris Yeltsin. Yeah. Has somebody... <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no, not from Yeltsin, from, um, you know who I'm talking about. Clinton. Well, no, Clinton, they know that they don't... Okay, nobody wants Hillary Clinton, but what they want is Bill... And they figure if they put Hillary in as a president, they get Bill Clinton back again mm -hmm. for eight. But it's not going to happen. She'll be 69 years old. They're not going to elect anybody. Okay, nobody my age is going to elect a senior citizen again unless he's someone like Ronald Reagan. It's a far gone conclusion. That time is over. And U.S. Afghan bills offers concessions for each. I, I know. To, you know, you keep the, the concessions never work. And Scotland break away a vote of risk to national security, Britain says. I know. Well, you can't allow that to happen. First of all, they can't stop it. You know, it, basically, the Scottish national movement is why Sean Connery has not mm -hmm. been acting as much. He does. He does a cartoon series, which is really popular, which he owns. Uh, but uh, other than that, it's his voiceovers because his time has been spent as the uh, honorary prime minister of Scotland. And I mean, they're really sucking up, you know, uh, you know, Lord Sean Connery, Lord Seamus O'Connor. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, uh, and, you know, they, and they just keep piling honors on him, hoping that they can buy, you know, the guy's a Scottish nationalist, folks. He always has been. Because if, you, you know, he didn't speak with that much of a Scottish accent when he was younger, but now everything he goes is just with a very pronounced Scottish accent. 
And U.S. looks to Asian nations to build own militaries. I know this is, they keep doing this, but they are forbidden by law to, from raising their own military. There was a reason why Harry Truman had all of those things put in all of these conquered nations so that they couldn't do it all over again. Mm -hmm. and so I mean, guess Harry, what? Harry <laughs> Truman was a product of World War I where they, they basically didn't put these provisions in and guess what happened? You got World War II. Mm -hmm. So now they come back a military, right? Yeah. And guess what happened? And they're going to wave. Obama is going to simply wave. Okay, here's the thing is, they're predicting that this week, one day this week, Obama is unilaterally going to lift mm -hmm. the sanctions on the Iranians. Because Obama really does, well, they said, I heard last night, well, if he waits for Congress, it will never happen. Oh he has God. no constitutional authority to waive the sanctions, but they already know in violation of the Congress of the United States, he's already been lifting sanctions for several months now. Oh, God. And that's ban on printed 3D gun and extension saw. Well, 3D guns blow up every time they're fired. I, it makes no sense. Why would you want to go make a 3D gun when you could go get a gun anywhere in the anywhere in the world you can go buy a gun? Mm -hmm. So you want to spend five thousand dollars to print a 3D gun of plastic that will more than likely blow up in your hands? That's not a sense. That doesn't thing. sound right. I know. And the rise of a giant solar power plant in California's Central Plain. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It, okay, here the problem is. The solar plants are really a neat idea, but the solar plants are dying all over the world for a simple reason. It takes two things most countries don't have. It takes a, a great open space with lots of sunlight and god awful amounts of water to generate energy. Most places don't have that. We, we know there's a big power plant in the Mojave Desert. It gets you all kinds of heat, but there ain't any water within 20 miles of where their plant is. And Obamacare 101, why do men need to buy maternity coverage? Uh, because it, uh, it, 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 the system doesn't work unless you get people to do the same things they wouldn't do. Okay, they're not going to pay for these things they don't need in private practice. And Obama says, well, we'll get them to pay for all the things that they don't want and don't need. And it's a, it's a superior package to the one that they're only paying for the things they need. Yeah, like you really want that maternity coverage if you're a guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that's a better package. And you want, you also want the health care for your children when you're 80 years old. Mm -hmm. The women really want health care for their children, and they want all of these kind. They all mm -hmm. want all of these maternity care things that goes with their package at 80. So. And woman ticketed for driving with Google Glass. Yeah, because it's um, they're banning Google Glasses. I don't get. First of all, the, they were talking about Google Glasses last night, and they said there's, there is a great chance of mischief with Google Glasses because the Google Glasses are going to become more and more like regular glasses. And they said you want to go spy on people? You've got mm -hmm. regular glasses on, so you're broadcasting to the whole world, and nobody knows it. And yep. that's why they're being banned. Yep. They won't let you wear Google Glasses in a casino in Las Vegas. I believe that one. Yeah. And Japan's solar dream shatters as projects fail. Because they, they don't, you can't supply, and the, here is the thing is, we can guarantee you we've been to the, the trade shows, and it's all got to do with infrastructure. Nobody has the money, okay, a developing nation is the only people that have the, the, the ability to create an infrastructure because they have none. Our infrastructure doesn't match up with the new energy sources, which the Democrats cannot get through their thick heads. And American pilots are not happy about passengers getting to use phones during takeoff and landing. It has absolutely no effect whatsoever because they, they're on a different they're on a different band than the pilots' planes. Uh, they said there's no evidence whatsoever that any cell phone or electronic device can bring down an airplane because the systems are not compatible with one another. And a Monty bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Um, uh, basically, in an age of, of cell phones uh, and recording devices, you should never have a conference call where you tell people no recording devices are allowed and let people have their cell phones.